Hi, it's me again, and welcome to my beautiful Canadian Rockies travel diaries. I can't wait to share this experience with you, so keep watching for the perfect winter getaway. Okay, this is me on my way to the airport, and I was so nervous here because I hate flying. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared of heights i need to take like anxiety supplements for it that's how bad it was and you can see we're arriving at the airport right now we had to rent a car uh for this trip only because we couldn't bring our car there obviously we were flying and look at my reaction on my first look ever of the canadian rockies in person it's so absolutely stunning i can't believe how the photo doesn't do it justice it's 10 times more gorgeous in real life so this is my first time seeing banff in the winter the first time i came was in the summer and i really wanted to come in the winter because it's just so much more beautiful and this was the hotel we were staying at it's the fairmount and i could not recommend it more oh my god it's literally a castle and this was our room oh my gosh so stunning we had the best view of the mountains as you can see and it was a pretty spacious room i remember staying at the fairmount in quebec and the room were definitely not as spacious so this was amazing and i just love when hotel rooms have multiple windows because you can really let the light come in and lighting is everything to me it really affects my mood and so this was the perfect hotel room for us and this is what i mean by the beauty of it like the snow just makes it so cinematic like it literally looks like a painting and the fairmount is known to have smaller washrooms so this is the size of the washroom um it's still pretty cute though the fairmount is one of the only three hotels i trust in terms of cleanliness oh my god look at the little folded piece of paper <laughs> um but yeah they're definitely the only hotel i trust in terms of cleanliness like i trust it 100 percent. like i know i'm getting a clean room you definitely get what you pay for is what i'm trying to say and then my favorite thing we started exploring the hotel a little bit because it's so big and there's so many things to see and this was a real life-sized gingerbread house which is a replica of the castle itself look at the effort that went into it so as we explored we saw a painting on the wall with a description and it says that the hotel is actually haunted by a ghost bride that was actually getting married at the fairmount back in the 1800s if i'm not mistaken and she had actually slipped on her own wedding veil and fell down the stairs and broke her neck and died on the right on the scene so that was very sad to read and a little bit creepy apparently a lot of the employees has seen her ghost um just hanging around the staircase and it definitely gave me the creeps but i thought that was a very interesting story so one of my favorite activities of the hotel is the high tea and we had a beautiful high tea session with a view and it was amazing i definitely recommend it I mean, look how gorgeous everything looks. I love the way they laid it out. And it comes with two teas of choice and two champagne flutes. And this is me just enjoying my tea. And it came with a very large selection of sandwiches and desserts. So I feel like the price is definitely worth it. And this was the view from where we were sitting, guys. Like, can you believe it? Another really cool thing about the high tea place is that it comes right beside a restaurant that's hidden behind a library door and I was just obsessed with that. It hides a little um, restaurant and I just thought that was so unique. I've never seen anything like it before. After that, we made our way to the village, which is extremely close to the hotel. It's a 10 minute walk. It's surrounded with beautiful little shops like this one. If you're a chocolate fanatic like me, you will love the variety they have downtown. They also have a really cute Christmas store and they sell all kinds of decorations, all types of Christmas villages and it was pretty overwhelming. I felt like Kevin McAllister in Home Alone 2. They also had this really fun store which is full of crystals. Oh my gosh, if I would have walked in here during my crazy crystal phase of... 2018 i would have spent all my money here like it was crazy they really did have everything 
And guys, the views during our walk was crazy. I mean, look at how stunning this is. All right, this is the next day on our way to dog sledding. And I couldn't wait for this activity because I've been wanting to do this ever since I've watched Balto as a little girl. And we finally got to the place. This company was called Howling Dog Tours and I could not recommend them enough. They had some little hamsters and fishies for us to see to pass the time until the instructor was ready for us. And once our group was ready, the buses came. They took us all the way up in the mountains. It was so high up. And this is what it looks like. We had a chance to meet the dogs and they were so adorable. And yeah, okay, there it is. That is the moment I was waiting for. Just cruising through the forest, being pulled by husky dogs. I don't know what it is about it. I feel like Balto definitely influenced me as a child. I just always wanted to do it. And then we had a little hot chocolate break. It was so cold that day, but um, the dogs are used to it. I asked, I was very curious to see how dogs can handle this type of weather. And sure enough, they're, um, they're made for that. So this was reassuring to me because I don't know how dogs can sustain this type of weather, but they're built for that. So, and this is us at Lake Louise. And I prefer Lake Louise in the summer because it's just so gorgeous. But I really wanted to come during the winter because I did want to ice skate. And if you're going to do this, please do not underestimate the cold. Dress extremely warmly. Then after freezing our butts off, we had some mac and cheese at one of the hotel's restaurant. It was really good. And after that, we just decided to explore the hotel some more. There was still so much more to see. And we wanted to make sure that we didn't leave any spots undiscovered and here's us just walking through this is my favorite part of the hotel it feels like a ballroom almost and this is day three there's a place i really wanted to check out for myself it's called the secret corner and it's a beautiful view of the forest and the hotel that we were staying at and it's absolutely stunning it is so picturesque it looks like a painting and then later that night, it was time to go home and I took my anxiety supplements again because I had to go in the plane. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm crazy. Um, yeah, and then this is me watching a film to pass the time. I love Audrey Hepburn so much. This is one of my favorite, favorite movies of all time. And I can't look outside the window unless we are landing. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys and if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!